Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the installment of Scott Selections here for Thursday, December 17th. For getting today's play today, a quick recap of what happened yesterday. We ended up splitting. We went one and one in the college basketball card on the play of the day video. We ended up picking up a loser with St. Francis, New York, and Central Carolina over the 152.5 at minus 115 on FanDuel. Pretty unfortunate. That line climbed like I thought it would and ended up closing at, I believe, 156, 156.5. 156 and that game was never even close to going over. Uh, simply put, St. Francis, Brooklyn only scored 59 points. They were awful offensively all game long, and that was pretty unfortunate. But the total closed at 156.5, so we did pick up four points of value, which meant absolutely nothing. But it is what it is. That's why I took it. And for the second play, we mentioned in the joint show at the end, I did say that I liked Pittsburgh minus the three against Miami. A minus 110 on bet online. Miami was missing three starters, and they definitely looked awful in the process offensively. To make matters worse, they also lost two other players in roughly the first five minutes of the second half. So Miami had five scholarship players for the entire second half, basically, and they were awful as a result, and Pittsburgh won by double digits. So a one-on-one -on -one record there. Uh, pretty average, basically broke even, but that St. Francis one's kind of annoying when you beat a four-point line move, and yet it still doesn't work out in your favor. But for today's play, that we're going to be looking at another college basketball matchup, and it's going to be on a late game between Nebraska, Omaha, and Wyoming. And for this play, that we're going to be taking Wyoming here, laying the points, laying eight and a half, and minus 109 on DraftKings. It's time recording of 1232 a.m. Eastern time. A couple reasons why I like uh, Wyoming in this spot. First of all, Wyoming is just the much better team than Omaha. Wyoming's 5-1. and one. They're also 3-1 and one at home. Been pretty solid so far this season, and Omaha is currently 2-6. and six. They have been getting absolutely smacked by uh, superior competition. Of course, that involves Kansas and some other ranked teams, but they're still not very good. So I do think Wyoming should be able to win this game by double digits. Plus, it's a really brutal spot for Omaha. And just to actually break it down, they played yesterday against Colorado on the road. They lost by 42 points in that game, but that's besides the point. After the game, they had to travel from Colorado to Wyoming to play this game with no days off in between. At the same time, Wyoming hasn't played since December 12th, so it should be well-rested. I don't know how what Omaha is supposed to come out and put together a solid 40-point performance when they have to travel state to state and not have a day off in between. That is an awful travel spot for a bunch of college kids, and I do think that Omaha will struggle as a result. Plus, Wyoming has been the much better offensive team in the season. They're averaging roughly 25 more points per game. Omaha is only averaging 61.7 points per game while shooting just 38.1% from the floor as a team. This team just can't score, and Wyoming likes to play a little bit up-tempo. It definitely has some offensive firepower under the brand-new coach, and I do think that Wyoming will eventually wear down Wyoming's tire, uh, wear down Omaha's tired legs, especially with all the traveling in the second half in route to a double-digit win. Plus, this line ended up opening up at minus seven. It's already up to eight and a half. I have already seen some books open it at nine, and I do think this line will eventually close probably around ten and a half or so. So for that reason, the play that I hear for Thursday, December 17th in college basketball is going to be Wyoming. Minus the eight and a half and minus 109 on DraftKings. That's been Thomas Scott's selections. Good luck to all of you and your respective bets today. Bye, everyone.